Now on to the question whether I use Lumi or not to this day. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys and the answer is very simple. Hey guys, so today I wanted to make my very last final video on Lumi what I think about it. I've done a little bit more research and digging for you guys in the last few weeks. I found some information that might be helpful to you guys and then I'm also addressing whether I still personally use Lumi today. So obviously majority of the people who are looking up reviews for Lumi and watching reviews and videos want to know if Lumi will work for you. And the answer to that question really is I don't know. And that's because every single body has its own chemical composition and every body reacts completely differently to anything that you may put into your body and onto your body. I mean, that's really the reason why one perfume can smell amazing on one body and smell completely atrocious on somebody else because the chemical makeup of that person, their pheromones, their skin odor, everything has to be considered into how your body is reacting to that. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm going to pretend that I have a chemistry degree. I do not, but let's pretend I do. I did do some digging and I found out some very useful information on Lumi, what makes it work and what makes it not work for certain people. So after I posted my initial reviews, I was reading a lot of comments and the comments were kind of divided. They were either super positive, someone really loved how the product worked for them, they are continuing to use it to this day, and in reading the comments there was a clear division in whether Lumi worked for them or not. And it all comes down to your your specific chemical composition and how your body specifically is going to react to mandelic acid. And so mandelic acid is really the main ingredient in Lumi, which is what makes it unique because it's an alpha hydroxy acid designated to be an antibacterial. Staying completely objective, there was a group of people who said that, you know, they started using Lumi, it was great the first few weeks, first few months, and then they started noticing such an odor that they never noticed even not using deodorant. So I became very curious as to why that would even happen. So I kind of delved into researching mandelic acid, what it is and how it interacts in the body. But completely hypothesizing with my fake science degree, what I think is happening is that some people are able to take in the mandelic acid and over time it seems to be building up in their body and for whatever reason their chemical composition is not able to accept it, to handle it. I'm not not sure what happens but it seems like after some time the buildup of mandelic acid in some people's body is creating a reaction where they end up smelling worse than when they started. Quick brief, mandelic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid. It is an acid that alters the pH level so what it's trying to do is create an environment where bacteria cannot thrive by altering the pH levels. And funny enough the molecule size of the mandelic acid is actually larger than other AHAs such as glycolic acid, which has a tiny, tiny molecule size. Because mandelic acid has a larger molecule size, it actually takes more time for it to even penetrate your body. The goal of an AHA is to really just adjust or alter the pH levels of your armpits or wherever it is that you apply it so that you're creating a condition that isn't favorable for bacteria to grow. And bacteria is obviously the thing that's going to make you stink. Because we have completely different chemical buildups from one person to the next, the way your body reacts to the mandelic acid is going to be completely unique to you. So the mandelic acid, aka Lumi in this case, is either going to work for you or it won't and it's as simple as that. Looking up even more reviews and me making even more informational videos is really not even going to answer whether this product will work for you. The only thing that I can really tell you or any other reviewer out there is how this product worked for them individually, how it worked for me. I can tell you the consistency of the product, the smell of the product, the packaging, the customer service. I can give you the background of the company, but no one is going to be able to tell you the efficacy of the product on you. The only way to know how your body is going to react to the ingredients in the product is just to try it on yourself. Now on to the question whether I use Lumi or not to this day and I'm going to be completely honest with you guys and the answer is very simple. 
I love Lumi for keeping me smelling fresh, for having amazing customer service, for having a goal in mind that is very commendable. I'm caring about their products and their customers and listening to their customers. But at the end of the day, it's not able to keep me dry. And realistically, there aren't any natural deodorants on the market that are able to be an antiperspirant. So it's not a dig against Lumi, it's just something that they're not able to do. And for that reason alone, I'm stuck using aluminum-based deodorants simply because I just, I hate the feeling of being clammy or wet under my arms. How However, if you are better about caring about your health than I personally am and having a great non-toxic product is important to you, I definitely recommend giving Lumi a try because it just may be the product that works for you and your specific body composition. I am keeping Lumi around for body odor and I think it does an amazing job keeping odor at bay. If you are someone who struggles with body odor specifically, whether it be under your arms, feet, wherever it may be, because in all reality, some people have bodies who tend to get smellier faster. And I say this without any malice whatsoever, just because everyone's body is so completely different and some tend to smell faster than others and that's okay. And honestly, I think Lumi may work for you. And you know, I really admire that Lumi has come out with not just deodorant, they've also come out with bars of soap that I've yet to try, which I think the concept is genius because as you are in the shower, taking a bath, whatever it may be, you're able to use the soap and you're actually preventing smell all over your body. So I do plan on ordering some soap and giving that a try just because I think it's a great product and their formula I think is completely genius. Although I am disappointed that at this time there isn't a natural antiperspirant on the market, I can honestly say that Lumi wowed me with number one, their product, their formulation, but number two, their customer service. I saw several people who wrote down in the comments that when they reached out to Lumi and for whatever reason it did not work for them, Lumi actually went ahead above and beyond and refunded them. When was the last time you heard of, you know, Dove or any of the regular deodorants refunding you if the deodorant or product doesn't work? So. I think that's very commendable on their part. Now, if you're interested to see if Lumi will work for your body chemistry, I will include a link down in my description box down below where you can go ahead and purchase it and see if it will work for your body. And please, if you are a long time user and you love Lumi, let me know down in the description box below. I love to hear your guys' stories, especially success stories, or if you tried it for a while and for some reason either it didn't work for you or it stopped working after some time, I also wanna hear, so let me know down below. All in all, I really try to stay objective whenever I do any kind of reviews, just because knowing myself, I love to delve into the science of why things work. So I'm sorry if this was like too extensive or too deep. I, as a consumer, I love to know why a product works, what's the formulation, what's the story behind the things, and so I just wanted to kind of dive in deeper and let you know what makes Lumi different, you know, why it doesn't work for some people. If this video is helpful to you guys, if you have any other questions, let me know down below. I will do my best to research and let you guys know what I come up with. Thank you as always for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next one.